hopes of a ceasefire appear to have suffered a setback. Whenever Russia says something, this needs to be checked carefully. We've seen Russian soldiers refusing to carry out orders. Bullets in children's body, shrapnels in the children's legs, heads, and the ribs. But now I live in this, so I, this is in my everyday life. You sound really strong. I have to be. It was three large explosions. We are being told that there have been at least five people injured in that attack, in those explosions. How do we defend ourselves? We had a life before the war started, and now it's not a life, we're just existing. Top defense officials in Moscow say they plan to shift their focus in this war. They now claim their top priority is the Donbass region, and that is in the Ukraine's east. The reality has been over the past few days that they haven't really been able to advance anywhere but in the Donbass. Я понимаю, что освободить полностью территорию, заставить Россию невозможно. Это приведет к Третьей мировой войне. Я прекрасно все понимаю и отдаю себе отчет. Поэтому я и говорю, это компромисс, да, компромисс. Вернитесь туда, с чего все началось, и там попытаемся решить вопрос Донбасса. Это цивильный объект, это школа. Если они могут взять место, мета знищити у всех. Просто знищити. The Ukrainian government is now saying that they are not going to try to set up humanitarian corridors because they do have intelligence that suggests Russia could be looking for provocation, so perhaps a, a, a targeting those corridors. It was a beautiful city which developed greatly. In one week it turned into dust. How did you get out? I was under rubble calling for help, but it took two hours for somebody to hear me. It took people from neighborhood homes six hours to dig me out. Officials in a town near Kyiv are claiming Ukrainian forces have retaken it from the Russians. Irpin has sustained heavy bombardment since day one of the invasion. Ukraine says it will consider declaring it a neutral state in exchange for security guarantees, a plan that could include Canada acting as a security guarantor. Certain countries could act uh, as uh, mediators in order to guarantee Ukraine's security and safety if indeed there was an attempt at another invasion from the east. You know, I am survived, uh, but um, I still uh, feel like guilty about that. A lot of children across the country are still sitting in a basement and um, bomb shelters. of a ceasefire appear to have suffered a setback. The Kremlin is downplaying talk of any progress after the latest round of face-to-face -face discussions. Today, we've had a colossal mortar attack on the center of Chernihiv. 25 people have been wounded and are now in hospital. They're all civilians. So whenever Russia says something, this needs to be checked carefully. injured boy from Mariupol cries for his father to come to his hospital bed. Today there are reports Russian forces shelled a Red Cross facility, prompting new claims of war crimes.
it was always hard for me to talk about the topics like death. But now I live in this, so I, this is the, my everyday life. You sound really strong. I have to be. The sounds of shelling over Oak Madid Hospital. Inside, exhausted medical staff do all they can to save as many lives as possible. Six-year-old Milana watched her mother die when a Russian missile hit their house near Hostomel. She bears the pain of injury and multiple surgeries on her legs, hearts for her mom. She draws them every day. Mama had tears. She paid mama. Bullets in children's body, shrapnels in the children's legs, heads, and ribs. We want the world to know the truth about this war and that normal people, the children, are dying every day. Roughly one in 11 people has left Ukraine in just five weeks. We've seen Russian soldiers, short of weapons and morale, refusing to carry out orders, sabotaging their own equipment, and even accidentally shooting down their own aircraft. The fear among Western officials is that it could lead to further, uh, even more dangerous misjudgment from Vladimir Putin on the ground. If it's true, it would be the first raid on Russian soil since the outbreak of the war. Ukraine denies launching the attack, saying it could be a Russian false flag operation. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has come out to say that this is not good for talks, which are continuing online. Был, я обстрел, я ползла. 